Americans. Another friend subscribed around the world. Back again. Whoa. Headed up, man. Came in a... Always, man. There's quite a few different... Quite a few different roads. That you can take to get on in here. This way, man, I, I gotta go a little bit farther out of my way to get on it, but uh, it's a little smoother, man. I like to change it up. Uh, do everything in different. <laughs> this kitty was gonna come along today. Uh, I told her she needs to go to the dang doctor about that. Uh, holy crap. Could they finally, finally move that old trailer out of my freaking gold place? Some holes. I already hit a couple of fences. Come on. But, uh, that's my oil burning. Better check that out, too this place I won't be back to it so we're gonna uh look at that man bunch of welfare with it. It's crappy piss for her though. Oh, man. Got a little gold pan with me too. Might have to just do a little test pan make sure it's still there. Oh here's a couple of uh Redneck fishing poles, man. He's still got a hook on it. Look, he's got a little nail, man. A little, made a little reel. Use the uh, pop can tabs. That's funny. That's what we got on this one. This one, he just got a cane pole. He's got a hook on it, too. Oh, no, we lost his hook. Oh no, he's got, nope, his hook's gone. Well, that's funny. I ain't taking them, I'm just gonna set them over. We're in this pile over here. Yes, sir, this would be uh, my little panning spots, gold panning spots. Got time to do that. I gotta do my fences before. Gotta do my work before I play, man. So I'm gonna head on out of here. But... <sighs> that camper sat here for uh, over two months. That camper was in here. I only seen uh, any traffic or vehicles here once in two months. They might have been coming up on the weekend because I don't come up on the weekends, man. <laughs> That's up here, man. That's where all the crazies are up here. All right, so uh, bow season, bow season ended uh, two days ago. So some of these camps, you know, man, we'll see the big one. The one up on the bench up here, man. That. Uh, it's like Grand Central Station. So we'll see if how many people pulled out of that one. We won't go. We actually won't go by that one until we make. That's when we'll come out. So we won't, that one we'll see for hours. But uh, I'm just curious how many how many humans will be up here today with the season being closed. It'll be a nice, quiet, peaceful day. I haven't heard nothing about the fire up here. Ooh, asteroids. Come around, man. There's a bunch of rocks and things. Asteroids, man! <laughs> Rick, 
brisk up here today. Brisk this morning. It's supposed to be, uh, we this whole week though, we're supposed to be some clouds come and go or whatever, and you can't trust the weather, guys. But they're talking, uh, we're predicting in the low 80s all week. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today and then get warmer for the week. Crazy. I thought we were in fall. He's a little too warm for this hillbilly. Anything over 72, man, too much. I like the cool temps. It definitely uh, 72 and we're cooler up here right now. Supposed to take a gander around, man. Sunlight's right there. Sun's just coming up over them mountains, man. It's gonna warm up some, but man, right now it's brisk. And morning in the mountain, or morning in the, yeah, morning in the mountains. <laughs> I thought I was tongue tying myself, <laughs> but uh, hands are cold. Oh, it's my favorite time up here. I love the morning time in the mountains. Let me get my book back. Looky there, welfare wood. It's actually uh, so far pretty dang quiet. I ain't seen uh, nobody on the on the mountain. In this camp here, I actually see an old boy uh, pull in here. Friday, when he was setting up his trailer and stuff, so must have just caught the tail end of the bow season, maybe just coming up and camping out for the for the weekend or something, but left me some oil for wood, I'm happy about that, now nah, I just spoke too soon, because here comes somebody. Sandals, one I don't know if fit her, but uh, they got unicorns. She knows unicorns. They got unicorns on them, so she can use it for their doll or something. Well, not a. Uh, ain't picking up no piss rags. This is a. Uh, Boys here, man, camp here every year and have for years. They're from Payette County. And this year they did, man, better. Picked up one can, a plastic bottle. There is shit piles and stuff everywhere. And then, uh, they've done it down in here this year. But they usually make a hell of a mess down here with their shit box well, it's right there not too shabby this year a little bit of toilet paper there it's <laughs> man the same one like i said man them boys man dude they've been uh the camp must be a whole family you know traditional thing man this is the camp spot they usually put their campers in here oh man they probably sit in here i don't think they go over the 14 days 
they get them in here about a week before uh look at that big old strap about a week before um hunting season starts and uh they didn't do this it's been here a while but uh usually hey, this is the nicest uh nicest in the last seven or eight years that i've seen you know seen them lose the cavity you can see a little bit there and a little bowl that actually that bowl was from uh previous all that out there Old plastic i don't see any fresh uh fresh anything that you know where they hung a deer or anything that's kind of cool with that old, uh, that old burl use that in our, our uh, woodcraft camp man so that's kind of a little strange I don't see no tires and no problems. <coughs> it's a very strange place to just dump a big old trailer like that. Canyon County. I'm going to park down here so I can do my... <coughs> Excuse me. Down here, so I can get my fence. It's just a weird place to kind of weird parking lot. Okay? So last night, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I've been doing so many dang videos, I don't know what I'm talking about. What I have that uh, last night, we went out actually yesterday afternoon, went out to. Uh, Katie Joe's and Tim's and the kids and played hand and foot the card game on them. Never played it because they actually won. They don't win mom and dad very often. But it got us by 400 points, which isn't very much in that game. They haven't ever played hand and foot, man. Look at them. They did it twice. Uh, but we did that and then we had uh, Tim made uh, elk. What did I have to say the other day? Dude. Why, why can't I remember? Carna Sada. El Carna Sada, dude. He freaking. Oh, dude, there was this backstrap in there and stuff. Oh, dude, it was so good. I got so full. I was almost sick when I got home. I ate so much. It was great. So that was, that was fun. Like I talked about the last time, man, the plans. Uh, old Muskrat and Cindy maybe coming our way. Maybe. Uh, Kevin D and Briquet will be down for a couple, two, three days. Staying in their trailer on the property. What else is going on? Miss Carr will be with us tomorrow. Maybe get over to Jasmine's DRs. See them? I ain't seen them for a month. Busy. Everybody's busy this time of the year, man. That's uh I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow. We'll see what plays out or how I feel or whatever. So I definitely want to go fishing. Not only do I want to, I need to, and I need to go somewhere besides this creek, man. Uh, I got my fishing, I always got a fishing pole. But uh and my shotgun, which I actually chased and I didn't film it, but uh, up ahead watched the grouse dive down in steep ass crap, man. I ended up getting near falling on my face. It was so thick, but went down in there and never did. I heard him at a distance, but that was, you know, flying off. But never got a shot at him, no. But, yeah, man, I stopped to check out camps and all that, but, 
you know, to pick up a little welfare wood and stuff like that. But I get my, you know, get the job done. I'm up there to do a job. And then after the job's done, then I'll proceed on to, that's why I didn't end up uh, panning. It's like, I got a little gold pan in there. I was going to do some little gold pan. It's like, nah, dude, I got to get there. It's hard to enjoy it when you know that you have a job to get done, man. I'm the kind of guy, I want the job done. And then, I don't want nothing pressuring me. I don't want no stress, man. No stress in my life. Craziest dang thing, man. I don't decide that I can drive up to this year. It's not an electric fence. It's been giving me fits. I haven't had no problems with it for the last couple weeks. I think it's been two weeks. His mother is dead again. And it's got brand new batteries, a new charger on it. I figure I'd drive the, you know, so I can drive up this one side of it. And then uh, drive up this side, you know, where the, this is up here on the end where the hunters or deer or something ran through it. As far as I go, so we we're walking from here, but the beast turned around. Look, these little fellas running around. Walk this side of it, Let's see, before I go over the other side. Crazy. What's funny about it is that um, back when, uh, back when I had a bunch of, um, you know, when I'm, more of the fences were electric. This, this I'd only have two left, man. I used to have five or six electric fences, and of all the electric fences, this one is the one that. Uh, I never had no problems with. And it always ran the charge is always good on this one, but and this year it's just been from dude from day one if you remember. First day I started the fences of the year. There's nothing on. Nothing I see on this. So we'll uh Back out that other way, go up to the charger and walk that one to the other end, see if it's ground out. And I checked that, uh, you know, it was grounded out on the pipe, but uh, it's still, it's still good. It's so crazy. Didn't I mean the sun's out? Oh, the sun out yesterday, I can't remember. You know, because if you don't get sun on them chargers, you know, like two or three days, but I'm talking like 0 .07 volts, man. That's like a... That's like nothing. Come on. Go down here at the other end. Oh, this side. Mushrooms. What can I see? That's where I've seen them a lot. I haven't seen them for a few years, man, but they used to lay eggs right in here, the bull trout, and I'd see them in there. This way and see if uh, you know that's the jump wire. And even if the jump wire wasn't transported over to the other fence, you would uh, 
Still have power on this fence. Crazy. Crazy. Nothing there. Whoa. Nothing there. A little bit of moss. That would clean this crap out. Ow, man, that son of a bitch was hot. What the hell? Just shocked the crap out of me. All right, man. Sorry. I uh, came back. Before I hoofed it down into there and got some parts and stuff, set the camera down, completely forgot the camera. Got down in there just a little bit and uh, hunters, had, hunters had grounded it out and it was definitely a hunter because it was the way that it was twisted up over. So they took the ground wire, put it on the positive wire to ground out the fence. Bam, fixed. So now I've got to write this, uh, write this who right down. It's a little paperwork time. Close the gates on the first of October. That was a weekend. But I just ran into Forest Service and they're locking the gates right now. Which I'd actually noticed on a couple there was some lock, then I got up to another one and it wasn't. But it's locked now. That's where I ran into it. So now I got the this is done. I got two more. And been picking up some. Just been scavenging wood pretty much today. And I'm taking it slow and easy. And if I see something that's already cut up, I whipped out the saw on this last one. So it's a nice lodge pole. But then I got uh, pretty much the bed full of wood, man. While I'm doing the fences, because it's just laying there, so a little bit of welfare wood, but mostly just stuff that's laying off the side of the road. Done with the fences, and it's going by, man. There's some nice, you can't see it over you right here, man. This one's probably, uh, Oh, man. 16 or 18 feet long. TP pole, man. Longer. But, uh. <laughs> oh, dude, I love this. Probably use, or not probably, which I always did, use the axe. You know, just a hatchet to get the, uh, especially these little branches off, but dude. And I also use this all the time. But this is pretty fun. on the mountain back road, baby. Uh, this one's longer than that other one. <clears throat> Great. Yeah. Oh, ain't longer than that one. Yeah, see this one. So they come through with that big machine, man, along this road and clear this stuff out. Boy, this is all whacked up. You know, I've got a... Uh, few places but with a bunch of standing lodge poles like this even with the bark off man look at that one running across there but uh dude i think that one right there i can just grab that's from there chunks of firewood <laughs> so it's just like why uh, stop at one place like this you ain't even got to cut them down 
look at them there. Look at that cool one right there with that knot. Mostly lodge poles, some uh, piss fur, which for building material and stuff, we got a nice path through there. This is a, uh, oh, it's, this is just up. Down in here is where we found uh, uh, Timothy's deadhead years ago, that big old elk head. Where he started yelling, it's mine! <laughs> Oh, man, I'm going to put this camera up. I think I'm actually going to back back down in here a little bit and finish off this load right here. All right, man, so uh, I was just thinking. I was pondering. Dude, I'm kind of dark on there. What is the deal, man? It's dark over here. Dude, it's pretty dark. Dang it, dude. Well, crap. Anyway, um, I was just pondering and thinking, you know, on the ride up here, uh, I my old buddy Muskrat, and you know, we've been friends for, um, actually, man, we're hoping to hook up. We've been friends through YouTube, you know, we talk on the phone and text and all that stuff. But we've never actually met in person, dude. And man, it's like, dude, we're, uh, it's like we're blood. Kindred spirits, man. Dude, we're so much alike. It's crazy. Anyway, I have been bugging him for, uh, he's been, I think, on YouTube about half the time I have, or a little less than half the time I have. And he's just coming up to 10,000. You know, man, I've been on there for as long as I have. And I'm just, you know, so man, our channels, I wouldn't really say they're similar, they're different, but I've been bugging him and telling him um, to start doing a video a day, you know, to make a little, a uh, few pennies in his pocket, and he's like, well, I ain't got nothing, nothing to, uh, I was just talking to him, I think it was yesterday, uh, it might have been day four, uh, and I ain't got nothing to, everything I'm doing is boring, man. You know, around that, his area, yeah. dude. I'm like, dude, people like that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, we're talking about him taking care of the um, fairgrounds and stuff, man. Put that camera up. And then I told him, uh, he's all, yeah, and then I ain't got nothing to, you know, I can film, but I ain't got nothing to talk about. So, man, we talk on for a while, and, you know, like we always do, we tell each other stories. You know, we're storytellers, man. We're old, man. We're old coots, and we like to tell stories. So, man, we're talking, and uh, talk on for a while, man. He's telling me, um, tells me two stories, man. Two old stories. Great story, dude. I won't even tell him because I've got to coax him to tell them. But he tells me a couple stories. Ah, oh, we laugh, man. It's great, dude. You know, talking about stories. Da, 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 da. And then I'm all, bam, there you go, dude. There was freaking two videos. He's like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, dude, um, watch my videos, man. I do, you know, it's just random everything. You know, that's why YouTube told me I'd never make it because I was too random. You know, one day I'm standing on a mountaintop talking about old muskrat. And the next minute I'm down taking care of some fences. And then over yonder there, I might end up doing a little grouse hunting. Oh, over here, I might do some mushroom hunting. Oh, let's head on down to the creek bottom and, uh, Split some wood, you know, dude. And, I, and the talking videos, you know, when I'm cruising, because he's always up. Dang, Hood's been popped the whole time up here. He's been driving me nuts. But uh, I'm like, dude, you got all kinds of uh, stories and things to tell. So hopefully, man, so I want everybody on here, everybody watches this, I'm going to put Muskrat's link in the description down below. And everybody... Go over there, and under his latest video, which was actually a pretty good video, that this one he was doing the, uh, watched it this morning. It was, there was a big old, there was a pretty good sized buck on there, and then he was, uh, the, oh, the camp trailer, man, I knew it. I just couldn't remember it, man. He was talking about the camp trailer, and that camp trailer, um, 
he rebuilt and he's talking about it because the construction you're right muskrat they scab them babies together you should see some of the crap i've seen in the, all the trailers i've torn apart but anyway man he's trying to get that um hopefully that'll be if he ends up coming man there's some things going on that we have to see man and, you know he takes care of that uh fairgrounds so um but he's also got the fire camp is set up at the fairgrounds so you might not be able to end up coming Anyway, I want everybody, all y'all, go over to Muskrats, link down below, the latest video, watch the video, man, like it, and then leave him a message and tell him we want story time. Everybody, everybody, let's, let's coax my old Muskrat, tell him we want some dang story time, son, he's got good stories. All right, we're headed, uh, we're done. Headed in the general direction back. Um, you know, it's about uh, 30 miles, 27 miles from here to the creek bottom. And who knows what may happen between now and then. Oh, man. So that, uh, that is the load. Oh, boy, there. <laughs> That is the load that I uh, scavenged. That's just a little bit of little bit of welfare wood. Mostly just uh, you know, scavenged stuff off the side of the rail seat legs. Did a little bit of saw, not too much. But, uh, pretty good load, man. Building and and firewood mix, so. That's about it, unless something happens between now and then. Still got a ways out of the mountains. And uh, make sure you get over there in Muskrat to do that for me. Tell them, we want stories. Um, so, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Check out the links below, get your postcards in. I need to show them ones. I just got three more. Um, three more in from, I was happy to hear from... Uh, Debbie and Matt, so that was good. We'll get over that 20,000, we'll be doing that drawing. And so make sure you get your postcards in for that. The address is in the description down below. Good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.